Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a stem cell. You should then be able to describe where stem cells are found in animals and plants. And finally you should be able to describe how stem cells can be used for medical treatment and for plant cloning. So let's start by looking at what's meant by stem cells. We're going to look at humans as an example, but this also applies to other animals. Humans start when a sperm cell joins with an ovum, in other words an egg cell. That's called fertilization. The fertilized ovum now undergoes mitosis and it forms a ball of cells called an embryo. Over time these cells continue to undergo mitosis. They also change and begin to form specialized cells such as nerve cells and muscle cells. When cells specialize like this, scientists call that process differentiation. Finally, over time, these cells form the adult organism. Now, if we go back to our early stage embryo, we can see that these cells have not differentiated. Any one of these cells is capable of differentiating into any type of body cell. Scientists call these embryonic stem cells. So a stem cell is an undifferentiated cell which can give rise to more cells of the same type and can differentiate to form other types of cells. Now we can also find stem cells in adult organisms and a good example is in bone marrow. Unlike embryonic stem cells, adult stem cells cannot differentiate into any other type of cell. So for example, bone marrow stem cells differentiate to form cells found in our blood, such as red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Now stem cells are very useful in medicine and we're going to look at two examples. The first is in a bone marrow transplant. Some people develop leukemia, which is a cancer of the bone marrow. To treat this, first the patient's existing bone marrow is destroyed using radiation. The patient then receives a transplant of bone marrow from a donor. The stem cells in the bone marrow now divide and they form new bone marrow. They also differentiate and form blood cells. Now there are two main problems with bone marrow transplants. Firstly, the donor has got to be compatible with the patient. Otherwise, the white blood cells produced by the donated bone marrow could just attack the patient's body. Secondly, there's a risk that viruses can be passed from the donor to the patient. Another way that stem cells can be used in medicine is in therapeutic cloning, and we're going to look at that now. In therapeutic cloning, an embryo is produced with the same genes as the patient. That means that stem cells from the embryo can be transplanted into the patient without being rejected by the patient's immune system. Once inside the patient, the stem cells can then differentiate to replace cells which have stopped working correctly. Now this technique could be useful for a whole range of medical conditions such as diabetes or paralysis. However, some people have ethical or religious objections to this procedure. Okay, so we've looked at stem cells in animals, but we can also find stem cells in plants. I'm showing you here a picture of the tip of a root under a microscope and also of a plant bud. Roots and buds contain meristem tissue. These stem cells can differentiate into any type of plant tissue at any point in the life of the plant. We can use meristem tissue to produce clones of a plant quickly and cheaply. So for example, we could clone a rare plant to stop it from going extinct. Or we could produce cloned crop plants for farmers. For example, plants which are resistant to diseases. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on stem cells in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by a stem cell. You should then be able to describe where stem cells are found in animals and plants. And finally, you should be able to describe how stem cells can be used for medical treatment and plant cloning.